Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I am here today with the Paranormal Pantivity Project Pan Update. This was started by Andrea or Pretty as a Peacock, I will link her down below. And this is being done in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies, the Facebook group, which I will also link down below. Now, I was not expecting to have it empty this update, and then all of a sudden, this ran out. For Poltergeist, product that gives you trouble, because I hate this packaging. It's very cute, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of junky. <laughs> I chose the Ali Oop Pen Pal Make a Mauve thing. I chose the lip liner for this. I thought it had a lot of product in it. And if I can get it to come out, which is, like I said, part of the problem with the damn product, it did not. I got six uses out of it, and now, nothing, it's, it's done. It just scratched the absolute crap out of my hand, as a matter of fact. I knew I had put usage on this before I officially rolled it in. I didn't realize it only had that little product in it, so. Now, to my eternal surprise, the eyeliner in here that I absolutely hate is still going. And there's also this, which is the highlighter. That is actually a really pretty highlighter. I just wish the packaging, I probably can't see that. I just wish the packaging was better. Now, they have that little stackable thing where you get like a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. That's lovely. So, this. Don't waste your money on this. I got it in a subscription box. Yeah. I will say the packaging looks really cute and it's pretty nostalgic for those pens that were around in like the 80s and 90s that I definitely had at least one of. Where you got like all the pretty, all the colors in one pen and you would just, you know, choose what you wanted. So, because that is done, at the end of this video, I will be rolling something in. But first, let me go over everything that's still in here. First, for Afterlife, something that's past its expiration, which this technically is, but you know, I don't have any kind of change out of it. This is the Biro Bitter Green Essence Toner. Last time we were here, and now we are down to here. This is a very thick toner, and unlike most, I can't go through it very fast. So this is probably gonna be in here until the end of the project in September by the way I'm going for it. Because the first couple of updates, I didn't even touch it because I was working on other stuff. Now, this is my primary daytime toner, but I use something else at night, so. Ugh. Next is the other product that is still in here from the beginning, Revenant, something that comes back again and again or has been repurchased. I have the Tree Hut Coconut Lime Post Shave Soothing Mist. This one, the end is at least in sight. Last time we were here, I have now gone down to here. Probably in about another two updates, I should have it done. I would have thought I would have gone through it a little bit more, but what can you do? I used it as much as I could. Next is Ghost, something you have unfinished business with or you, a product you could not finish. I chose the Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Psychedelic Sister. I will insert the picture from last time. And because it is pressed into my Pan That palette, I will insert the picture of it from today. I have only used it twice since last time and I really meant to try to have this done. I don't have a lot left. Honestly, I need to repress it to make it easier to use, but I just haven't. But yeah, I've just been working on other eyeshadows. So this was not like, this ended up just not being a super primary focus for the month, which sucks, but what can you do? Next is Demon, a product you were tempted by. Now, I did not purchase this because this is a $39 lipstick, but as soon as I saw it pop up in FabFitFun as an option for the winter box, I immediately hopped on it. It's what I'm wearing today, actually. But it is the Hourglass. Damn it, I didn't write down what it was, but it's the Hourglass lipstick in this pretty packaging. I will insert my paper progress over here. I have only worn it five times. I was surprised I had progress because while there's not a lot of product, it is very pigmented, so you don't need a ton of it. This will be in here for a bit, which I'm not, I'm not too bothered by. I really enjoy it. It'll be very pretty for spring. And finally, for Bloody Mary, a product with a mirror, I chose the Soap and Glory Peach Party Blush. 
I only want to use it 10 times, and so far I have used it six times. So four more times to go. This is what it looks like. It's just a pretty peachy blush. Shock. Dismay. I know. So four more uses and that will roll out. And the product that I am rolling in is for Gremlin, a mini or deluxe size product. So I chose a little mini of this lip liner that I have hanging around. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. I, will, I am wearing it today underneath the lipstick. But this is what it looks like. It's much more nude than this, but whatever. I wear the same lip liner every day, pretty much no matter what I'm wearing underneath, unless I'm wearing a red. So I have that marked down, but that is it. For next time, other than the blush, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have anything else done, but that's fine. I figure as long as I have at least one empty, I'll be happy. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.